when people ask me, man, it must be so hard being a public defender. Yeah, it is, but I feel like it is such a break from being a dad. <laughs> for, for like, you know, like a moment in my life, especially when I'm in trial and I see all the stress, uh, I forget that I have a minivan and I wear Crocs when I'm in hunting court. That is real. That is real. And it is gratifying when I can forget that particular moment. He helps people in courts and stuff. Like, he's amazing. I don't know if you're a DA? No, you're a... <laughs> is that the wrong thing? I don't know. I don't go to court. That's the opposite. opposite. Complete opposite. He's, a, he's the one who helps the people against the DA. Public defense. He's the good guy. He's the best guy. And now I know how to pronounce his last name. <laughs> it's like I try. Okay, okay. Everybody put your hands together for the very, very fun. Bless God. Win! Yay! Yay! That was like being introduced by my mom. <laughs> I was like, no, no. Other side. Other side. Public de Whatever. That's fine. I know you're proud of me because I'm a lawyer right now. And the mom and the rest of the family. One of the challenges uh, in my job is that we really f see and fight some bullshit cases. I remember uh, I had a client who was African-American, late 50s, schizophrenic, he got convicted of having less than a third of a gram of heroin, and he got sentenced to 14 years in state prison Whoa. here in San Francisco. I remember a juror came up to me after the uh, trial and set up a meeting, sat down with him, and he said, you know what? Your client was like that guy, I don't know, um, Brooks from Shawshank Redemption. I thought he probably would have done better staying in prison. Whoa. It's fucked up, right? And in my head, I was like, you dick, you just ruined my favorite movie. <laughs> I really wish that you would ruin, I don't know, like, Overboard or <laughs> Legends of the Fall. You know who really loves jury duty? Racists. <laughs> I have seen it firsthand. So I always encourage my friends to, when they're in court, at least stick around for a day so I can press the prosecutors to waste a peremptory challenge. I know that's a really deep legal joke. Uh, just <laughs> <laughs> it was there, it was there. Uh, but I am very, very appreciative of you know, what I get to do. Um, and this is pretty amazing, just being here, you know, cracking jokes. I mean, I, I feel bad. This is one thing, too. I know some of my friends showed up, and I don't really believe in social media, so it always amazes me that people are following and really listening on social media, which makes me think that um, I should not post anything on social media. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I really do appreciate uh, all my friends who are here to support local live comedy. Uh, that's my time. I, I really wish I had double the time, but I'm really pumped to see some other comedians who are 10 times funnier than me. So thank you very much, Pam. Give it up. Yeah.